right, welcome back to your next installment of .LA Dives In. I'm Kelly O'Grady, the Chief Host and Correspondent and Head of Video at .LA. So today I'm joined by Christoph Birch, the creator of Veo, a startup that is aiming to democratize nutrition. So Christoph, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. I'm just going to set the stage before we jump in here. You know, nutrition has become something that is increasingly important to consumers especially as COVID has us all at home, just face to face with our bad habits. Yeah. Uh, the sheer number of companies in the health and wellness space that have been started over the last couple of years is just one data point. Now you've started a number of companies prior to this, but none in the nutrition space. So I'd love for you to tell me a little bit about your founder journey and what it was that prompted you to create Veo. The, the first company I was, I was 23 and, and it's a software company. It's still around back in Germany. So I started back over there out of university and, and, and never was employed. So from the beginning, I just like had this entrepreneurial way. Yeah. Which I just like do since now 25 years. And um, when, when, when the, the, the next company was a fashion company, which has started two years after the software company, which is still around in Germany with uh, 600 retailers. And then I started in 2008, a, a, soft, a video platform company, which became the world market leader for explanation videos. And then actually I met a friend of mine who owns the biggest food and beverage ingredients company in Europe. And that was the first time where I actually came in contact with nutrition. And he showed me a process, which was by that time quite boring for me, which is called freeze drying. So you freeze dry fruit and vegetables and you have these powders. And I said, well, great. No idea with that, you know, but the next day I met another friend of mine who runs the biggest vending company in Europe. And there's, they serve 15 million coffees per day. We're searching for a healthy alternative. And we said, well, there are fruit powders, vegetable powders, super fresh. There is a, there is a demand from the office side. Why don't we build a vending machine? That was actually how the idea was born. And, and in that time, I came in contact with a company in um, San Francisco called Ammunition. And Bruna and his team, they did the Beats headphones. And together with them, we started first thinking about a vending machine. And then out of this whole conversation, we took the decision to take a different route and build a device which you can actually carry with you, a B2C device. So Vio was born like it is today. Obviously, it was a long journey, but it was not an intention to create a nutrition company, not at all. It was really like, just like the opportunity came its way. I took the decision. It might be really a good business. Turns out it is a great business. And now I'm just like, yeah, full in. Well, I love hearing that story because I think so many times you ha you see entrepreneurs that have this one thing in mind, right? Like, okay, I'm I'm going to focus on this industry. I'm going to focus on this consumer. And then as they get into that space more and more, it evolves over time. So this is a perfect example. It started as a vending machine. And now it's something that I can carry around in my pocket. So to that point, I'd love for you to tell us a little bit about what is Veo. You know, I know you've got the, the blender, but you also have Veo Plus. So yeah. if I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a female in my, my 20s and I'm fairly healthy, but I kind of want to improve. How might I interact with your different products? I mean, it, it, it actually reflects the journey of mine into nutrition, you know? So, so first of all, you understand more what, 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 what is really a healthy diet, but then you also realize that every metabolism is just different. Mm. And I just didn't understand by that time, actually, the impact of nutrition on my personal body. So I tried to understand how that all works. And, and we found this just like naturopathic doctor who takes just like in a huge way blood of you and just like analyze every biomarker of you. And we started to implement a process where we take the blood of people, analyze 150 biomarkers and fill these little pots, which we have these little capsules, you know, the, which you put into the blender in a personalized way through a compounding pharmacy. So we really created the, the actual first personalized nutrition play, which, which works based on your blood work in a very extensive way. We started first uh, with, with high-end athletes, like mm -hmm. world champions, Olympic gold medalists, and went from there, just like 
other just like people from the NBA, NFL, NHL just like picked it up. From there, it went into the European soccer leagues. We signed up Bayern Munich, Manchester City, got more teams involved, more players involved. And from there, interestingly, you know, it, it, it went to it went into the hands of people who have a, a lot of workload, like managers, people who have an extensive lifestyle at work. And and yeah, it, it, it became a part of our business. And there will be on the first of October a huge launch because you know we have like we have thousands of biomarkers now. Mm. So we know very precisely how, you know, how this whole interaction between the right supplementation, right herbs, right diet plan works for your blood work. Mm -hmm. What we will do in the future is from the 1st of October on, instead of taking a huge amount of blood, you get an at-home kit. Mm -hmm. You itch yourself a little bit. You send us a blood sample back. It goes into the lab. We look into a 25 biomarkers and we know where exactly where you are right now with your health health and what you actually need. And then you get just like your personalized plan shipped to your home. Yeah. So, you know, you've got Veo Plus, you've got um, the actual blender, right? So I can go yeah. online, I can purchase sort of different pods that are um, not personalized, but they have different functions. Exactly. Yeah, I'm curious, how did you think about brand building in the health and wellness space? Because there's so many, um, you know, different companies out there that they're promising the world to everyone when it comes to nutrition. So how did you, you know, find a way to explain to consumers what value you were adding and really get them to start engaging with Bayo? I mean, it was from the beginning that the idea to create this aspirational brand, you know, mm -hmm. and trickle down from the pyramid where we really start to work in the beginning only with the athletes and people who are really performing on the highest limit. And they have to take so much care what they actually put in their system. And, and, and we always said, if we can move the needle for them, we can move the needle somehow for everybody. Sure. And, and just like doing this in a very analytic way in understanding the blood work and, and the impact of certain supplements on the blood work and how it then works for these people. And then just like step by step integrate this into the mass market thing. That's our story. So, you know, we, we don't want to bullshit with all that stuff for us it's really very important that everything what we do has its base in our just like way how we create the products based out of this personalized nutrition play so yeah. and i you know when you look into all this other stuff you know a lot of people claim you should take pills or whatever we are so anti-pills because you take so much fillers so much plastics into your system and less function so that's 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 nothing which we really like a lot so so we try to stay with what we have we try to get as much as we can from the earth mm -hmm. and, and in the most organic way that definitely resonates about all the pills that everyone wants you to take it always makes me wonder okay but what what am i doing to my body that's bad uh, because of this it doesn't no, it doesn't look natural no, it doesn't seem no. natural and usually people take the pills without even knowing if they need them and, mm. and then you get the missupplementation, which is also sometimes not the best for you, you know, or other people think, you know, I can eat whatever I want. I just throw some pills in my system. It will be somehow fine. No, <laughs> so it's not. So you should really, if you, if you supplement vitamins or whatever, listen, everybody takes or a lot of people take a D vitamin. That's okay. You know, a C vitamin. Okay. But if you really want to take it to the next stage, just look into your micronutrients panel, know something about your deficiencies in the vitamins and minerals. That's the first step. And it's just interesting for you to see when you get rid of your deficiencies that you get a completely different body feel. Feel more alive, you have more energy, you know, and, and with all that stuff, you sleep in a better way feel more happy. So it's just like everything is so connected and nutrition is just like for me this central element, you know. How did you begin to engage people at that level? Because that's it's got to be really hard to go out and, and convince someone who is at the highest level that, you know, hey, we're, we're going to work with you. Was it speaking with doctors that, that were already working with them? How was your window into that space? Yeah, and, and, and just network and friends. Mm -hmm. you know, I think um, that, that, that was always just like one of the, the most powerful things which, which Vio has is like we're so highly connected. 
mm. you know, into the business, but also into the sports world. And I created in, in my first office is at um, the Venice um, front walk, just like at the beach. Mm -hmm. And um, I turned it into a micro gym. So we have like oh, 3,600 cool. square feet. And um, we have two world-class PTs inside. Um, Andy did um, the rehab, just like of, of, of Kevin Durant. Mm -hmm. And we have like tons of basketball players. We had last year 30 uh, players from the Premier League in our gym. And this is how the people get in contact with us, you know, and just see, whoa, what is that? What is this device? Oh, you guys are doing, you know, and then we measure their body. So we have high sophisticated scales where we can measure really just like the physical fats in their body, in their system, where it really sits and, and isolate that for the right training, give them the right nutrition in our environment. So this, this, this little gym with some recovery stuff became really like our hub into the sports world and it's dedicated to them so it's not for public it's just like for our yeah our sports network and if somebody wants to work out with our coaches then they're more than welcome to do that and dive into just like the optimization of nutrition with their workouts i think that speaks to the importance of network which is is applicable to any industry, any entrepreneur, especially in a town like LA that's really yeah. network based. I'm, I'm curious, are there any specific stories you can share from um, some of the athletes or actors that you've worked with? Kevin Love became a friend through mm -hmm. this whole thing, you know, and when you ask Kevin today how you actually feel, you know, and, and how long he actually wants to play, he says, listen, I feel like 23. Wow. So for us, it's all like, you know, longevity for players. So players' longevity, as longer they can play, you know, the more money they make. So when a player turns like, if they're in the early 20s, you know, they, they think they are just like still the boss and they can do whatever they want. But when they are turning 27, 28, they understand more and more that nutrition is just super important, you know. Mm -hmm. And, and, and so, so, so Kevin did the program liked it so much we, we we just like got his blood work in such a different place that he just like came back and said hey guys i see it it works in my system i want to be a part of the company so he became a shareholder mm -hmm. so we have like him like sag efron became michelle you jackman so all these vin diesel so all these people are really just like you know they have to be in shape by themselves they understand what we're doing and, and, and they want to be a part of our journey. I'm curious, this is something that has definitely made the rounds on, on Netflix with documentaries and such. There are a lot of rumors across sports and acting of individuals using performance enhancing drugs and substances in order to prep for whatever it is, competitions or projects. So how do you and your team navigate a space that's so laden with assumptions when it comes to brand building? I mean, we, everything what we do is well-informed sports mm. it's like we have we have we have a standard for how our products have to be certified especially mm. when they go into the sports world and and every ingredients which we use for the personalized blends is the same so everything what you get from us is just like through a certification process and and the interesting part for us is like we don't we don't folk so it's not a focus on the performance enhancement through whatever for us. It's really like, how do we get a body in a balance, mm. get his inflammation out of the system. So if he gets injured or what, you know, that he can recover in a faster way. Mm. If he exercises hard that he can recover in a fast way. So for us, it's not the performance enhancement for us. It's more like, how do we give the body the, perfect circumstance to perform on the highest level mm -hmm. for a long period of time the moment where you introduce just like performance enhancers or whatever you for sure shorten the lifespan of a player or a player's longevity everything would accelerate something might also take a lot away from you that's not us you know mm -hmm. so that's why we're very strict when it comes to these topics. Well, I, th I think that that's actually a really interesting way to frame it, that that acceleration uh, has the, the negative effects when it comes to longevity. And, and you've yeah. certainly seen that yeah. in, in yeah. 
different players in sports. Um, being a Boston girl myself, I am I'm a full believer with Tom Brady, <laughs> you know, preaching no, I mean, look, look at him. He, he, he has a healthy diet, you know, his wife is for sure looking for him that he's eating the right stuff. And she's, doing, you know, she's doing a good job. You know, it tells yeah. something, you know, it's like, um, if you put the right fuel in your system, you perform on a different level. It is what it is. Switching gears a little bit, I, you know, speaking to you, I originally came into this conversation thinking, okay, so it's, it's a nutrition product. Um, it's a, it's a food product, but I, I actually kind of feel like you're more of a tech company or a biotech company in some ways. How, how would you characterize yourself at your core of, of what type of startup you are? No, we just, you know, we want to be recognized as a, as a, wellness health we launched today a beauty line you know with mm -hmm. like very soul collagen mm -hmm. where we are just like everything has to be somehow based on data what the food industry is doing just like how they feed you know the people and put marketing dollars behind nutrition which is really also poisoning somehow our society mm -hmm. is for us just like it's not okay. And we think we're on a mission with that. And what we try to do is just like be most accurate as possible, you know, that we do everything based on the knowledge which we have out of this personalized nutrition play. And, and I think this is just like, and, and, and you're absolutely right. I mean, the data which we have already from people who checked in and we transformed them, you know, got the inflammation out of their system the knowledge which we have is, is, is huge and, and it just grows every day. So we don't put it to the front because we want to be a, just like, you know, a happy lifestyle brand, but everything in the background is really heavy data driven. Yeah. Mm. When I came over five years ago from, from Germany, I, I was just like, and, and, and I came with the purpose to build the company. So it's like, should I be in San Francisco or should I be in LA, you know? And I don't want to be from, you know, this, this, this super tech company. For me, it was more like the lifestyle which we have because look, if, if, if we get it done that, that, that health, a healthy lifestyle becomes cool, mm -hmm. then we made it right. because then we attract a lot of people to live a healthy lifestyle. LA is a great melting pot for that, you know? Sure. And, and that's like, this is like so a home for us. And, and from here, from LA, we just spread it into the world. Well, as, as Dot LA, that's um, kind of a really interesting story and journey to get here. Cause I think we've started to see this startup and tech ecosystem you know, develop under the radar a little bit, right? Everyone always thinks of San Francisco as the tech um, startup hub of the world, yeah. but there's a lot of folks that are, are doing more interesting, um, you know, still startup, still tech-based, but more along the lines of what you're doing. And so that that fit with the region, I think really yeah, makes yeah. sense when it comes to this. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm curious, you've also done a lot of work around sustainability, um, you know, with how the product is made, how the blender is made, and that seems to be a huge part of your company's mission. So can you tell me a little bit about why that's so important and, and what some of the, the efforts that you're focusing on? I still have a house in Germany, which is close to the Swiss border and an espresso machine comes from from there mm -hmm. you know and, mm -hmm. and and when you see just like what these little capsules do to the to mother nature it's like whoa and then i came to the yes the curic machine and it's like you know i never wanted to create a company which is just like does not live in alignment with 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 with, with the planet you know and, mm -hmm. and and pollutes it so so we have currently in this this little um, um, um pots which we have they are made out of a biodegradable plastic called pla but I'm working since now two and a half years on, on a material which just like will be groundbreaking. We, we already just like communicated a little bit about it. You know, there are some videos out there, but it's not, it's, it's more leaked than really published. Mm -hmm. um, I developed over the last two and a half years with partners in Europe, um, a, a water soluble material. So that means what you do is you run your plant. So you put your pod into the device, you run your plant and you take the pod and you throw it into the dishwasher and it disappears. 
Wow, so cool. So that will endorse by the end of the um, by the end of the year in the first plans and 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 you see it like I did one small Instagram post so I take the I blend my drink I take the pot out it feels like plastic mm -hmm. I throw it in a glass just like it dissolves and I drink it it will be just like once this is out there and and you have the device which is a reusable bottle mm -hmm. you have a pot which leaves no waste behind and it's single serve so it's also no food waste you have actually a solution which is quite cool so that's really what everyone should be striving for that's really exciting that you've developed this um i'm definitely going to go check out that instagram post to see how this all works in action you're actually drinking it you will see that i was by myself surprised that it really finally worked out <laughs> <laughs> the other things that you've been doing, which I think is, is really cool, is during the coronavirus, you had a Nourish Our Heroes program. Um, could you tell me a little bit about that? I, I think it's been really impressive what you've been able to do. No, it's just so, so, so we said that um, everybody who, who, who pledges a hundred bucks for a device and we match it like up to just like with pots and, and we deliver hundreds thousands of plans to first responders in mm -hmm. the hospitals we created one formulation called immunity fuel which just especially supports your just like the whole breathing system you know from from an immunity perspective and and we just like fed these people you know who are really helping right now to to keep the society somehow going and working day and night and and it was just like it was heartbreaking you know we just like said if, if somebody wants to endorse a person or a team in a clinic we got a message from a 11 12 year old seventh grader yeah and she wrote the story about her mom being a uh, working in a hospital working 36 hours in a row see people die and and crying in the night she has no time to go to the restroom no time to have the right nutrition with her and then that's, you know, you get suddenly in contact with that stuff. It's not just like happening somewhere, right? You know, we feel affected and, and, and we just like, we deliver them device, we deliver them the plans and, 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 and we were just happy, you know, that we could be a little or play a little part in just like supporting the community and that stuff. And we we'll still do it. I mean, this topic is not over. This is just like ongoing. And that's just like, I think that's the, the most important thing for the DNA of Veo and it's just like if we start something we're very consistent you know it's not like that we start something and we do something and then we're just like okay that's it if we take a decision to do it you know right now it's the first responders you will see that LA will burn again because of the fires right so the firemen will be also just like our heroes you know it's like so what we would try to do is just like with Veo just like spread the word of how important health and nutrition is in the community and support just like the people. Yeah, well, this, I mean, that is, is really heartening to hear that you've been able to make such an impact in our community and will continue because like you said, there's always going to be heroes in the community, regardless exactly. of whether it's the pandemic crisis or the next one that probably is going to come in 2020 because this is the year that just won't stop. I don't know. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the aliens. Yeah. <laughs> Well, listen, Christoph, I really enjoyed our conversation today. Um, so interesting what you're doing when it comes to nutrition at the highest levels of performance and sending that down to everyone in the community, really democratizing nutrition. Um, I also think it's, it is just so interesting how you've taken data and really, really yeah. built a company around that, a food company. Um, yeah. It's not something that you see that often, but I think definitely as as we see the space evolve more and more, um, we'll definitely begin to see more of that. So thank you so much for your time today and really appreciate it. Well, thank you for your time. That was <laughs> fun. Thank you. <laughs>